Is it the right time to buy or sell Intel stock? In this video, we'll be delving deep into Intel. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, December 14, 2023. And now, we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You won't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Improve your trading decisions with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and access free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. As of November 3, 2023, our system has identified Intel as a buy candidate with a score of 4.80. Now, let's dive into the stock's performance during this period. If you had followed our analysis, you would have experienced an impressive gain of 18.46% since we first recommended Intel as a buy candidate 29 days ago. This translates to an average return of 0.64% per day since it was listed as a buy candidate. The stock is currently experiencing a strong upward trend, indicating potential for further growth. Over the next three months, there is a projected 28.57% change in the stock's value, with a potential return ranging from 9.16% to 38.58%. Looking at the 12-month trend, there is a projected 49.92% change in the stock's value, with a potential return ranging from 14.47% to 44.80%. This suggests a price range of $51.72 to $65.42 after a year. Today, we have an update on Intel's stock performance. On Thursday, the 14th of December 2023, Intel's stock price increased by 1.37%, going from $44.57 to $45.18. Throughout the day, the stock fluctuated between a low of $44.65 and a high of $47.07, a difference of 5.42%. Over the past two weeks, there has been a 1.07% overall gain in the stock price. Notably, the volume of shares traded increased on the last trading day, which is a positive sign. In total, 35 million more shares were traded than the previous day, resulting in a total of 70 million shares bought and sold, equivalent to approximately $3.14 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price for Intel stock was $47.07, while the lowest price was $24.73. Currently, the stock is trading 4.02% below its 52-week high, with a difference of $1.89. Additionally, it is trading 34.8% below its all-time high, which was reached on January 24, 2020, with a price of $69.29. Analyst Ratings On Wednesday, December 6, 2023, KGI Securities upgraded Intel with an outperform grade. On Thursday, November 16, 2023, Telsey Advisory upgraded Intel with a bite grade. On Wednesday, November 15, 2023, Mizuho Securities upgraded Intel with a bite grade. On Friday, October 27, 2023, Bank of America Securities downgraded Intel with an underperform grade. On Friday, October 27, 2023, HSBC upgraded Intel with a hold grade. Analysts have given Intel stock a general buy rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as a strong buy and the price to book as a strong buy. In terms of return on investment, the analysts give the stock a rating of neutral. Today, we will be discussing the signals that have been identified for Intel stock. The Intel stock is showing positive signs as it holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages. This indicates a promising forecast for the stock. Additionally, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals, where the short-term average is above the long-term average. In case of any downward corrections, the stock will find support at the price levels of $43.49 and $41.04. However, if the stock breaks below these levels, sell signals will be issued. 
On Thursday, October 26, 2023, a buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point, resulting in a rise of 38.93% so far. This suggests that the stock will continue to rise until a new top pivot is found. Furthermore, the volume is increasing along with the price, which is considered a positive technical signal. However, there are also some negative signals that may impact the near-term development of the stock. Additionally, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. The moving average convergence divergence is indicating a sell signal. Pivots are showing a buy signal 35 days ago. Bollinger bands are indicating a buy signal 35 days ago. The short-term moving average is showing a buy signal 6 days ago. The long-term moving average is indicating a buy signal 33 days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages is showing a buy signal 30 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see the following signals. The short moving average is indicating a buy signal 6 days ago. The long-term moving average is showing a buy signal 35 days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages is indicating a buy signal 180 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Today, we'll be discussing support, risk, and stop loss for Intel. Intel stock has found support from accumulated volume at $43.35. This is an important level to watch as it may present a buying opportunity. Typically, when support is being tested, we can expect an upwards reaction in the stock price. In terms of risk, Intel has average movements during the day. With good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. This means there is a moderate level of volatility in the stock. Looking at the recent performance, in the last day, Intel stock moved $2.42 between its high and low, which is equivalent to a 5.42% fluctuation. Over the past week, the stock has shown a daily average volatility of 3.41%. Before we jump into discussing potential trading levels for Intel, let's take a moment to go over some important fundamental data. First, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This ratio compares a company's current share price to its per share earnings and is a key metric in evaluating its value. A negative P-E ratio indicates that the company is either experiencing losses or has negative earnings. Established companies may face temporary downturns due to external factors, but consistent negative P-E ratios could be a sign of insufficient profitability and potential bankruptcy risks. Moving on to other news, the upcoming earnings report for Q4 2023 is scheduled for January 25, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates for this report stand at $0.430. It is important to keep an eye on these numbers as they can significantly impact the stock prices. Today, we'll be looking at potential day trading levels for Intel. When analyzing the stock, we can see that there's no significant resistance from accumulated volume above. This means that, under the right conditions, Intel could experience a swift upward movement. If you're considering entering a position, it's important to use volume as an indicator for when to exit. On the downside, Intel's first support level is at $43.35. If this support level holds, it could present a good opportunity for entry, with the anticipation of a rebound. The average rating for Intel from multiple analyst sources is buy. Now, let's delve into some recent insider trades. On December 3, 2023, Zinsner David conducted an insider buy of 5,283 shares of restricted stock units. On December 3, 2023, Shell Kristoff conducted an insider buy of 5,283 shares of restricted stock units. On December 3, 2023, Rivera Sandra L. conducted an insider buy of 5,283 shares of restricted stock units. On December 3, 2023, Holthouse Michelle Johnston conducted an insider buy of 5,283 shares of restricted stock units. On December 3, 2023, 
Gall Scott conducted an insider buy of 1,596 shares of restricted stock units. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 8.201. Overall, insiders purchased 343,034 shares and sold 407,920 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss for this stock is set at $43.43, which represents a decrease of 3.88%. This stock exhibits moderate daily movements, indicating a medium level of risk. Additionally, there is a buy signal from a pivot bottom that was identified 34 days ago. Is Intel stock a good buy? Based on our analysis, there are several short-term signals indicating a positive trend for Intel stock. This suggests that the current level may present a buying opportunity. When examining the volatility and movements of the stock on the last trading day, our systems have determined that the current price is undervalued. Looking ahead to trading on Friday, December 15, we anticipate Intel to open up at $0.453 and start trading at $45.63. Before we begin, it's important to remember that trading carries a high risk of financial loss. It is always advisable to consult a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By using the information provided, you acknowledge and accept full responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. Today, we'll be discussing our current view of the stock. We're excited to hear your thoughts, so don't forget to comment below and share your opinions. What's your target for this stock? Let us know. And if you enjoy our content, remember to like and subscribe. We hope you have a successful trading day and a beautiful experience. Thank you for joining us here at Stock Invest.